So here we are on the bow of Brinks Encore 2. Um, this is the Vista from the front well. So I'm going to show you through the boat now, just so you can see what you get for your money and the facilities on board. So anyone that may be interested in hiring her, it gives you a bit of an insight um, to what's available. So uh, yeah, so at the front here we've got a uh, electric mud wing, as you can see. So the left hand button lifts it up and the right hand button has it down. We've also got the uh, star shaped uh, fitting in the middle there in case the electric fails you've got a handle on the inside to uh, manually lift it up if you need to. We've got a single windscreen wiper on the driver's side. TV aerial. And on this side you've got your I believe your wi Step down. I believe that's your Wi-Fi for your internet. Um, it says on there Overland Wireless I assume that's what it's for. So you've got quite a deep well here at the front. Uh, apologies about the condition, it's been quite windy and dirty, so I haven't had a chance to pop the floors or anything yet. Um, so, you've got two bow lines, port and starboard. You've also got the uh, LED courtesy lights here at the front as well, that light up the well. You've got one there, one there, down there, and down there. Just to show you what they look like in the daytime, Not you can't really see them very well, but... You know, At night time they're a lot more effective. You can't really see the bottom ones at all, but um, yeah. So you've got those. Quite nice at night time for a bit of ambient lighting. So coming through the double doors, both doors open. Let's just get that closed for a minute. <coughs> so at the front of the boat on the uh, starboard side, you've got a nice storage area, storage area shelf there with two sockets. In this little cupboard here, you've got some storage, which barns use to uh, house their glasses and mugs, as you can see. You can get a few other bits in there as well if you move things about, some food, tins or packets of crisps or something in there. Here is your seating area, L-shaped seating, which does convert to a double, which I haven't bothered, you know, trying out or anything like that. Um, underneath here you've got storage which I've just filled rubbish basically and this side as well oh, can't get that out but that's where I'll put my uh, hamper box in there out of the way so I'm guessing the legs just slide out and you move the cushions down and then it makes up a double berth on this side you've got a windscreen wiper which you have seen actually plenty of times on holiday. There is your handle for your electric mud weight if it fails. So you can still get your mud weight up if the uh, electric's not working. Under here you've got a TV DVD player, which has got free view on it. I've not bothered going through all the channels because there's just too many and I'm not really bothered about watching TV on holiday anyway. Um, underneath that you've got to see the CD player, radio. Um, strange place for a bin but I guess it's the only place it can go to be honest due to the uh, narrow nature of the kitchen area. Down there you've got a heating uh, outlet which is very effective in the evenings. <coughs> Up here you've got a USB socket double one which is great if you need to charge your phone when you're going along like I've been having to do. Your switch for outside courtesy lights and then inside saloon lights and then you've got your heater controls here. Right hand button to turn it on and off, left hand button, right hand button to uh, adjust the temperature. So you've got speakers in the ceiling the CD player as well. Now we come to the helm seat. So Brings Encore is quite a clever boat. Um, a few boats you have to have a pre-heat pre uh, sequence to start the engine 
where you pull the throttle out, push it forward in neutral, let the glow plugs heat up, and then once the light goes out, start the engine. But with Brinks Encore, and I assume it's like it on a few other uh, new builds as well, you literally need to check to make sure that the uh, throttle lever is in neutral, which it is. You turn the key, let go of the key, not doing anything. And there she goes, she fires up on her own once she's uh, done her preheating checks. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all very clever. Technology these days, eh? Technology. So, just above the key, you've got the bow thruster, which you can turn on with a double push of the button there, which moves the bow left and right, left and right. Turn it off, I don't want it on. So, up here, you've got a horn button which is self-explanatory. Fuel gauge, water gauge, your GPS and speedo. Uh, also top right there is your uh, heading as well on the compass. Bottom right is the miles that you've done. And obviously the left hand side is your speed. You've got oil pressure up here as well. And then an engine temperature gauge. Pretty much all you need really. And there's your switch for your wiper. You can probably see down here that I've got a, an amber light on the battery light showing. But if I just pull the throttle out and just give it a little gentle rev, there it goes, it goes out. So, all good. Down here we've got a fire extinguisher, very handy. And you've got the license plate for the Wards Authority as well. And your throttle is just your standard, you know, backwards and forwards. So lift up underneath, little switch under there, forward, backwards. Okay. You've got a sliding window, which obviously where the window's tinted is quite a dip, bit of difference between the inside and the outside. But if you look at the how tinted it actually is there, it's uh, yeah. Same on that side. Sliding window and your curtains. Another storage at the back. I've got my unopened bottle of wine there, which is probably where it will stay. Carbon monoxide detectors. And then here is your galley area. Utensils, I've used it for storage for my water. Um, you get a tea towel and um, oven gloves with this one, as well as a dishcloth and a sponge. washing up bowl, a four burner hob, electric with, no sorry, gas with electric ignition. So you've got a grill at the top there and an oven down there. Fairly decent sized fridge, as you can see. You've got two shelves and a storage box underneath and storage in the doors as well. And you've got an ice box at the top, which as you can see, I haven't actually used. Under here, you've got your electrics under this door. So you've got the uh, trip switches and everything like that. Tells you what volts the engine's roaring, etc., etc. Little tip for you: the guy who did the handover for me, he said that if the uh, electric winch does pack up for any reason, check the trip switch down there. It will save your arms having to use the handle. That's, that's a common problem, you know, if, if it does trip, then check that first. On this side, we've got storage there, and a microwave, which I haven't used. It's one of the boats where most of your food and, and stuff, everything has to be out on the shelf, unfortunately, because there's not enough storage for pots, pans, plates, glasses, etc., plus food, so, you know, They've used the space well though. In here you've got soft closing drawers for your cutlery. More utensils in there. Under here you've got your plates, tea tray. On this side you've got your, your glassware, pots and pans and frying pans. I always bring a frying pan with me, 
purely because you know it's nice to have two frying pans when you're cooking things such as fry up breakfast and stuff like that. So here's the table, as you can see, it's stored and out of the way. You only have to use it when you need to. And you will see that there's holes for the legs and the bottom of the table, holes in the floor for said legs, but where are the legs? The legs are in here. So literally you put them out and they just sit in there like that. And then you balance the table on top. I don't need to demonstrate that to you because you know you're intelligent people. Yeah, put legs on the table. So I'll take you into the uh, shower room, the heads. I've got a light switch around here somewhere, where is it? There we go. So we've got, well, it's, it's okay, size wise for the size of the boat. Uh, we've got taps there, there's a shower, there's a shower controls there. And then there's a shower head up there. Under here is your toilet roll, which you cover up when you're uh, obviously showering to protect it from getting wet. Toilet. To wet the bowl, you press that button there. And then to get rid of it, it just sucks away. It's like the back of it. Down here you've got a uh, holding tank meter. It tells you uh, when you need to pump out. And there's your shower pump for when you use the shower to pump the water away. Another nice touch is you get a heater outlet in here as well. So if you're, or if you've had a shower and you put the heater on, then it will dry the floor out in there. And it's nice to have that going, obviously while you're having a shower if it's cold. So yeah, great idea that. You also get um, complimentary towels on the leak boats with our Springcraft, so. Yeah, that's a great thing to have. So you're having to pack them. Up there you have a fire blanket. Okay. I'm just gonna go and turn the engine off because it's costing me money. Yeah, I'm running. That's better. So you've got another light switch here for the uh, galley lighting. Only one fault. I don't like about this boat that I found so far is this window here which obviously you need in front of the cooker for ventilation which does open um, but there's no blind or curtain so at night time that's all open and exposed to people that can look in some people it doesn't bother it doesn't bother me too much but that's the only gripe I've got so far with the boat so into the cabin at the back Double bed, as you can see. Excuse the state of the quilt. You know the, the quilt's far too big for the bed, and you know it's it's as good as it's going to get. Put it this way. So you've got storage down there, and on the other side as well, which you can't quite see, but trust me, it is there. One thing, it don't matter, why not bother some people? But having your head at this end of the bed, I'm not sure about. I know you've got a a ledge that side where the the deck is, but. I think I'd rather have my head down the other end of the bed, personally, but, you know, that's just a personal thing. So, over here, we say we've got more storage and a light switch. That's the mount I've been using for the rear camera action. And a window there. On this side, you've got storage. Just down there. Ideal for two people, putting stuff in there. It's only me, so I don't need a lot of space. So I've just been using drawers mainly, you know. Three drawers down there, all soft closing. Got another double socket over here. Which I haven't used, so. Full length mirror for your ladies or men that like to pamper yourselves. From the state of me, you can tell I'm not one of those. Uh, another fire extinguisher. And then another detector up there as well. There's a heater outlet in here somewhere. I did see it. Uh, I think it might, yeah, there it is down there. There's a heater outlet. 
so good thing to put that on and close the door um, from the saloon to the cabin at night time if you want to keep the warmth in here. In this cupboard here, I'm just using a storage, so I've got two coats hanging up on the back of the door. Um, it's got my hold all down there, which I put my stuff in. There's a mop and bucket down there as well, I believe, and also a hoover, as you can see, which I'll be using um, towards the end of the holiday. There's no point in me using it now, um, because I'll just be bringing in more rubbish from the bottom of my feet, so. So yeah, I mean, that's great for storing your suitcase in. If you uh, bring a case, you know, it gets out of the way, doesn't it? So. <clears throat> so you've got spotlights again in here. In there. There you go. And out the back here, you've got more LED lighting in the wheel. Oh, no, wrong switch. Just down there. Which again, it's not very effective during the day, unfortunately. Sorry, one other minor gripe I've got is when this door is open, there's nothing to keep it open. It just rests against the bed and when you're going along, it does eventually close and it can be a bit of a pain if you want to see out the back, but maybe, I don't know, maybe a little a little hook down there, perhaps. Oh, there is a little hook there. Oh, wow. Didn't even notice that. Oh, see, I've just answered my own question. I've done my own design, look. I'll sort that out in a bit. Oh wow, I've got a off down there. I was using trainers to prop it open. Oh well, well done Barn Sprint Craft. So we're out to the rear well. It's good that the doors latch open and stay in place. Saves them from banging the shut. So at the back here you've got life ring, mooring ropes on both sides. And you've also got your electricity cable just there. Plugs into the electric, which I will do shortly. Just on top of the boat, got solar panels running all the way down it. And you've got a boat hook just up there against the rail. pretty much it really I mean it's a new boat it's only three years old underneath that locker there I assume is the gas bottles as it says gas shuttle valve underneath there so this must mean the engines underneath here oh there she is Yeah, that is a Brinks Encore 2. There is a Brinks Encore 1. Um, yeah, nice boat. Everything you need. Got everything I needed anyway. Just when you want to think of hiring a very smooth, nice mod cons. And I'm sure you'd have a great time.